Hi guys, it's your girl Mimi. If you're stopping for the first time, you're highly welcome. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always stopping by. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys how I went about making this beautiful top with a drape effect and an asymmetric neckline. If this sounds like something you would love to learn, please keep on watching and let's get started so guys the first thing you need to do is to go ahead and draft your pattern with your normal basic body measurement and this is what i have here exactly this is the front and this is the back and as you can see the front is five inches longer than the back i used 22 inches for the normal length and then i added extra five inches in front i hope you understand here is what i mean this is the top length. The normal top length is 22 plus extra 5 inches in front. So go ahead and mark same for yours. Alright, so after that, the first thing I'll go ahead to do. And as you can see also, my pattern for the front is folded, is on fold, like is on fold while the back is just single. So I went ahead to open it up like this. This is my front and I already gone ahead to extend these lines to this other part. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do now is to connect a line from my boss point to meet this, my dart. Alright, you can just decide to come down from your boss point by one or you can just decide to maintain the boss point. This is what I mean, you can just decide to come down here by one. Or better still, you can just decide to continue with the bust um, line, the bust point line. Hope you understand. And then whichever one is okay for you, go ahead and use a cover to connect. For me, I'll be maintaining the, the bust point line. I'll just go ahead and connect my line to meet my dad. Just like this. So after I was done, this is what I have. I'll just go ahead and extend this line to meet the full length of this top. Just like you see me do, go ahead and extend your line to the 5 inches we left in front. Now, so after that, the next thing I'm going to do right now will be to, from that line, I'm going to come in here by 3. Yeah, you can decide to use 2.5, but for me, I am coming in here by 3. And then with my curve rule, I'm just going to connect it to meet that point. You can decide to make yours very sharp, but for me, I, I think I prefer the curve rule. So after I was done from this point, I'm just going to connect a slant line to meet the normal length of my top i hope you really understand what i'm doing here so go ahead and connect the straight line slanted to meet this other line which is the normal length of your top and then after that the next thing we're going to do right now is to go ahead and work on the neck remember the neck is an asymmetric neck so the first thing i'm going to do here is from my shoulder i'm going to come down by six inches so just go ahead and come down here by six inches and make a point there then after that go ahead and use a straight route to connect from your shoulder down to where you have that point i hope you understand So after connecting the line, the next thing you'll do is to go ahead and bring your curve rule and connect this line with your curve rule and make sure it enters the neck, the neck curve. Just watch clearly so you could see what I'm doing. So I'm just trying to make sure I place my ruler correctly. All right. So after that, go ahead and connect it just like this. All right, so after connecting it, we're just going to go ahead and extend this other line to meet our armhole. All right, just go ahead and extend it just like this. And then we're going to label this 
one here our yoke because we'll be needing to cut it out so that's our yoke and then after i was done basically that's all for the front so this area i won't be needing this area all right so you just go ahead and watch clearly to see the areas i'll be cutting out so i'll just go ahead and cut this out just like this all right so go ahead and cut this exactly so when i got to this point i noticed i had needed to curve in from here all right so i'll just go ahead and correct it so go ahead and correct it i won't be needing this line again and then after that i'll just go ahead and um, cut this out so go ahead and cut yours all right So after I was done cutting that, this is what I have. You can see the normal body and the smaller part. So we'll just go ahead and cut our asymmetric neckline. Just go ahead and cut it out like this. Alright, so after we are done, go ahead and cut this part. We won't be needing it. Hope you really understand. Alright, so these are the parts we will be needing. This is how it is going to be. I hope this is simple for you all right so that's basically all for the front pattern so we're going to go ahead now and do our slash and spread so go ahead and slash and spread open yours you can decide to go ahead and use two two inches or one, one inches but i think i made use of one one inches so go ahead and slot yours too. So I'll just go ahead and keep slashing till I get to the end. And after that, I'll just go ahead and cut them open. But make sure you don't cut to the end. So this is me already. I've gone ahead to cut mine. So go ahead and cut yours too. And then after slashing them just like this, the next thing I'm going to be doing now will be to place it on my fabric. So this is what I have. And then I'll be adding half, half inches at the side. And then at the lower part of it, I will add just one inch so go ahead and add all the allowance that we need in. and then after that the next thing is to go ahead and cut this out i'm sorry it is a little bit fast because i really want this video to be a bit faster than the usual all right i'll just go ahead and trim this so go ahead and cut yours so after i was done this is what i have you can see how my front pattern is looking already all right so i'll just go ahead and notch this part this is where my draping is going to stop so i went ahead to duplicate this because one will be for the lining and one will be for the main bodies so go ahead and cut the lower part of your clothes all right I'll just go ahead and cut this remember allowance on the sides that will be sewn all right so after that this is it this is the front and this is this is the front um the big side and the smaller part and this is the area will be dripping so we'll just go ahead and keep these two aside like i said earlier i went ahead to cut two, two pieces for each of them so this is my back i already went ahead to cut this out and then this is my sleeves that I'll be using. And then my yoke. I'm going to cut this unfold because we need to turn it. 
So the first thing I'll go ahead to do right now will be to bring my yoke and then I'll place it like this, right side facing each other. And then I'm just going to sew using 0 0.5 inches and then I will place my lining piece on top of it and sew using 0 0.5 inches. We need to turn this to give it a very nice finishing. So go ahead and place your lining on top of it, just like you see me do. And then you go ahead and sew your 0 0.5 inches. So I'll also go ahead and match the sides and I'll bring it back. Now this is what it is looking after attaching my yoke and my lining piece. You can see the areas I went ahead to turn the curvy part and see the slanted part also. So just go ahead and make sure you turn this. You can decide to use bias if you don't want to use lining. But for me, I, I rather prefer lining to it. So after that, I'm just going to make a pleat here. Just go ahead and make a pleat at this part of my top. So I'll just go ahead and do that and I'll bring it back to show you how this looks. And then I will attach this smaller part to it. This is the side. Alright, so I'll just go ahead and take this to my sewing machine right now. And I'll go ahead and pleat this. You can decide to pleat it. You can decide also to make gathers. But for me, I'll be doing um, the pleating part of it. So after I was done pleating it, this is what I have. And this is the little part. So I'm just going to sew this part to it. So I'll just go ahead and place my fabric like this, right side facing each other. And then I'll just go ahead and sew all right so when i was done this is what i have and i need to cover this edge here to give it a very nice finishing at the back because i don't like um the rough um work at the, at the back so go ahead and place your lining for this other small then go ahead and turn it and make sure you turn also the hem now this is what i have and you can see how this beautiful um, you can see how beautiful this is looking and um, our top is almost ready so the next thing I'm going to have to do because I did not cut lining piece for the back I'll be using my bias tip to turn the neck and then I'll bring it back to show you how this looks so after I was done this is what I have here and then for this the lower part of it I went ahead to turn it with a, um, a small piece of fabric and then later on, I'll be hemming this. I just went ahead to secure it with my pin first of all. So I'll just go ahead and attach my zipper to this. All right, so just go ahead and attach your zipper to it. And then I'll do the same and I'll bring it back. So this is what I have after attaching my zipper. You can see how beautiful and nice looking it is. All right, so the next thing I'll just go ahead to do now will bring will be to bring the front and the back together place the right side facing each other and then i'll join them on the shoulder and then i'll also shape them on the side using my body measurement all right make sure it is well arranged before you can go ahead and do your shaping so i'll just go ahead and do all of that the shoulder and this shipping and i'll bring it back to show you this is how it is looking after i was done joining the shoulder and shipping it you can see this our top is coming out beautiful already so this is what i have the next thing i'll just go ahead to do right now will be to work on my sleeves and then after that i will attach it to my top so i'll just go ahead and um sew this hem and then I'll shape it and then I will attach it to my top. And that will be basically all for this tutorial. So just keep watching. And then after I was done, boom, this is how beautiful this is looking. So guys, thank you so much. Let me know what you think about this top in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, and see you in my next one.